Do you want to know what's going on in Las Vegas now? Especially when you've been locked at home for the last couple of months. Wait a minute, what is it? Oh, maybe a month and a half now. Stand by and I'm going to go over what's going on in Las Vegas and the market in general. Everybody, it's Eric Hudson, call sign Nuke. Let's talk about what's going on in the market and how everything's been going for the last uh, month, especially the changes year over year. So let's get into the, some of the most important stuff here, and that's going to be the housing prices. So I'm looking on my big board here, and if you look to my left, you're going to see everything that I have. So if you look at the average sales price, the average sales price has gone from 303,886 uh, up to 321,634 dollars over the last year, ending in April of this year. Now, next we're going to go to the median price of homes, and the median is that number right in the middle. Uh, the average is, you know, when you take them all and average them out together. So the median is actually a little bit lower in here in Las Vegas. Uh, so a year ago, they were selling for about 270. This year, it was a little over 282. So we are still having positive growth, which is a good thing. And we'll have to see what happens at the end of May because we're still having lots of transactions going on. Now, what about those new listings? Well, the new listings last year, we had 58,122. April of this year, we had 53,109. So what does that mean? That means they're starting to go down a bit. So we're gonna have to watch that also, make sure it doesn't keep going down so there's uh, plenty of stuff for you guys. Uh, as far as homes for sale, uh, last year there were 40,000, I'm sorry, 10,000, and this year there were about 11,000. Uh, pending sales. Uh, last year, there's 39,000 pending sales. This year, almost the same. Not much of a difference. Closed sales. have actually gone up from last year to 40,082 closed sales. That is amazing. Average days on market. Now, that's starting to creep up. We're at 46 days of mark on the market now, which is not the greatest, but it's still good. Uh, average month supply is going from 3.1 months of supply to 3.3, so we're still in a seller's market. Price per square foot has actually gone up by five whole dollars a square foot. Again, prices are still increasing. Now, let's start looking at some other statistics that may be out there. And let's see. I'm going to get into my big Google machine here. And this is one I really like looking at. Uh, let's try to break this down by a few little things here. So let's see. Let's look at a report. I'm not showing that one up there. So uh, let's see. Single family residences. So that's your single houses. You know, your one stories, your two stories, non attached houses. Uh, right now we have 5,965 available which is actually an increase over the last week. Under contract, we have 2,718, which is a decrease of 185 from last year. Uh, our short sales, look at this, we have 210 short sales. So those are, a short sale is when uh, the house, you, you're trying to sell your house, and let's say you owe 300,000 on it, but um, you can only get 250. So these are people who are upside down, possibly upside down. Uh, that's at 210. Um, it's pretty much the same as last week. Uh, for the condominiums and townhomes, uh, right now we have uh, 1742 available. So that's actually gone up. Under contract, 591 went under contract, which is 57 le less than last week. We have 89 days of supply, and um, there are only 31 short sales for the condos and townhomes, which is about the same as last week. 
So right now we are doing pretty good. Uh, total of about seven, uh, 70 days of supply. Things are starting to creep up. Usually this time, uh, when you look at the months of um, housing supply, it actually starts coming down at this time. We should be in the spring season. Right now, we're not in the spring, uh, kind of having a delayed spring season because of everything that's going on, unfortunately. So let's uh, see what happens and see if we can save some things for the summer season. The market, believe it or not, I am absolutely blown away with the fact that we still have a market going with everything that's going on right now. Because normally this market would just be churning along and we'd have just a few days of inventory on the market. Right now, we are, in my opinion, still lucky. We still only have, you know, about three months of supply, which is still a seller's market, believe it or not, with everything that's going on. As hard it is to show houses, people still want to buy houses and people still want to sell them. So let's see what happens over long term. If you guys ever need anything, just reach out and I'm here to serve you guys. Thanks.